Hello, this is Dave Taylor. I've just got a brief demo today about a data visualization technique called a Sankey diagram. So you're seeing that here on the screen here. We'll get back to this one in a second, but this is a Sankey diagram in the context of higher education. It's something that we've seen gaining a lot of traction in a lot of our educational customers recently. It's just kind of a nifty way to visualize data, and this one shows the flow of a various cohort of students through a set of time points. When do they enter? Did they accept or decline? At what point did they potentially drop? Did they get a degree? Was it a four-year? Was it a two-year? Was it a graduate degree? Was it within four years? Was it within seven years? So we'll get back to that in just a second. But the Sankey diagram itself started back in the 1800s. This one's from the 1860s, I believe. And this is the first data visualization that's generally held to be a Sankey diagram. And some have claimed that this particular visualization might be one of the best visualizations of data in history, especially given its age. This shows the ill-fated advance of Napoleon into Russia in 1812 and 1813. Napoleon's advance is shown in the uh, tan line. The width of the line decreases as the size of his army decreases. And then the black line shows his retreat from Moscow back into Poland and France. And uh, it shows many other things, too. The temperatures are shown on their own y-axis down below. Uh, the heights and movements of the bars are correlated with the latitude and longitude of the actual trip into Moscow. So it's a great visualization, and it's, again, generally held to be the first Sankey diagram. But if you want to have something named after you, you don't ever want to be the first person to develop it because... Uh, Sankey was actually an engineer in the late 1800s who uh, articulated a similar diagram to show the efficiency of various steam plant operations. So this is a steam engine Sankey diagram that shows the efficiency of where the steam and the energy moves through the system. He used this chart in 1898, and hence the chart is named uh, after him. And again, we start to see it to see it gain a lot of traction with some of our educational customers recently. This particular Sankey diagram, again, is in a higher ed context. It's uh, rendered here from Cognos 11. It uses a Cognos 11 rave chart. And it's got some interactivity to it as well. So you can see here, if I hover over any of the specific islands in the stream here, how many of those students were uh, leads from a recruiting event for from inbound interest or for some other recruiting event, how many accepted versus not accepted, and then when did they enroll, and if they did enroll, what degree did they get? Did they get it within four years? Did they get it within six years? Was it a graduate degree? Was it an undergraduate degree? The size of the islands articulates the size of that particular student community, of course. And then the size of the little streams here flowing between, between the islands shows how many uh, for example, enrolled within two years and then ended up getting a graduate degree within six years. That was 2,706 students. And then the Cognos Rave chart does a great job of uh, allowing the user to have some interactivity here. So if you wanted to highlight, for example, just those students with financial aid or just those students with no financial aid, you can click the buttons up above and the Sankey chart will very nicely animate and show you the trends and how they change given your current selection. So let's look at just on-campus students, and let's look at just those on-campus students that had you know, kind of a low-ish GPA. And you can see the Sankey chart uh, change again to reflect the community of students that I've selected for that cohort. If I switch to my other tab here, I can just kind of see how this gets authored in Cognos 11. Um, my resolution's a little low, so we're chopping off some of the uh, elements of the report here, of course, but if you're familiar with Cognos, you'll notice that I've certainly got some of the basics here, the, some logoing and some headers and whatnot. These are data uh, toggle button bars that show the different options for financial aid, housing status, and GPA. And then, as I mentioned before, the rave chart itself is constitutes the bulk of the page. It's got two queries here, one that defines the links or the flows between those islands, and then one that defines the actual nodes and the size of those nodes and the students uh, that make up that node. So again, it uses a technique called an active report within Cognos, and the Sankey itself is a rave chart. And with that, I'll conclude my demo. Hope this was uh, 
educational for you. and again, thank you for your time.